Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to use multi-camera editing using Adobe Premiere CS6. My name is Luisa Winters. To do our multi-cam project using Premiere Pro CS6, the first thing I need to do is to import the media into the project panel. As you can see, I already did that. Now I need to tell Premiere where these clips sync. All of these clips have slightly different timecode numbers. In this case, I have a hand clap to sync the cameras. So what I need to do is to find this clap in all of the clips and place a marker in this place to tell Premiere Pro to use this as the common point between all of the cameras. To accomplish this, the easiest way is to maximize this panel. To maximize this panel, I will place my mouse cursor on top of it and now I will press the accent or graphic key, the tilde, which is on your main keyboard. I can change the view to icons. To do that, I will click in this icon here. To change the size of these icons, I can use this little sliding bar here. Now I can click on the clips one at a time and I can find my common point right here in the project panel. I will play this clip by using J, K, and L. Once I find my sync point, I will press the K key and now I can go frame by frame by pressing and holding the K key and using L to go forward one frame or J to go backwards one frame. Once I find my sync point, I will mark an in point by pressing the letter I on the keyboard. I will do exactly the same thing with the second clip. J, K, and L are great shortcuts for this. Press the I key to mark an in point and there you go. Now that all of my clips have in points that are in agreement with each other, I can go back to a list view. So I'm going to select all of my clips. I'm going to right click and choose create multi-camera source sequence. In this panel, I will tell Premiere to use the in points to synchronize. I can also rename my clip. I will name it Free Running Multicam Source. I can now double click this clip to see it in the source panel. And as you can see, it's showing me all seven cameras at once. I can now create a new sequence for this clip. I can do so by right clicking and selecting New Sequence from Clip. This gives me a sequence that will contain the nested multicam sequence in it. The next thing that I need to do is go to my multi-camera monitor. For that, I will choose Window, Multi-camera monitor. I can see all seven of my cameras in here. I'm going to place this multi-camera monitor in the same set as the source panel. To do that, I will click on it and drag it towards the source panel. And once I get that rectangular preview, I will let my mouse button go. And now I will see one more tab in this set. I can click in any of these cameras and the display on the right will change accordingly. I can also maximize this panel. I can play from here and all of my clips will play at the same time. They are not playing very smoothly because I am working on a laptop. In Premiere Pro CS6, you can use as many cameras as you want. You are limited only by the power of your system. In this multi-camera monitor, we can go to the panel menu, which is this menu here on the top right hand side. We can choose audio follows video. What that means is that whenever we switch cameras from camera 1 to 2, the audio will switch as well. This is generally not used as most of the time only one camera contains the good audio and we don't want for the audio to change as we change cameras. But you always have the option if you need to. You can also show a preview monitor. Since we're working with both the multi-camera monitor and the program monitor open at the same time and side to side, we don't really need to use that option. Okay, let's start editing this. I will move my playhead all the way to the beginning and I'm just going to test that everything is working fine by clicking on a couple of the cameras. To start recording, I'm going to click on this, the record button, and now I'm going to play. As the video plays, all I have to do is click on the appropriate camera at the appropriate time and Premiere Pro will do the rest for me. 
Again, if this is plain sluggish, it's because I am working on a laptop. Once I stop, you can see the cuts in the timeline. They were created automatically as I clicked on the different camera angles. I can also continue recording at this point. Again, there you see the cuts. I will select all of these and elongate the video track all the way to the end. This leaves me with just one angle. I can also command double click this nested sequence to open the original one. Now that I am in the free running multicam source, which is the one that contains all of the sync cameras, I can add effects to these clips. For that, I'm going to click on the effects panel. I'm going to do a search for time code. And I'm going to add the time code effect to one of the cameras. In this case, camera one. Now I will adjust the effect by going to the effect controls panel. In here, I am happy with all of the values. I will change the label text to automatic. Soon we will have to change it again. Click on the name of the effect, in this case timecode, and I can copy using the shortcuts Ctrl C on Windows or Command C on the Mac. I can now maximize the sequence and paste the effect onto the other clips. This way, all of the clips will show me timecode numbers and the label. As you can see, all of the labels of all of the clips are going to have MDA, which is not very descriptive. So I'm going to change that label. For that, I'm going to select just one of the cameras, in this case, camera 7, and I'm going to give it the correct label. Same thing for camera 6, camera 5, and so forth. A very easy process that will actually give us the correct camera name when we are editing so that we always know which camera is which. When I go back to the multi-camera panel and I maximize it, you will notice that all of the clips have labels CM1, as in camera 1, and timecode numbers. This makes it really easy to differentiate between the different camera angles. After I do my editing, I can now go back to the original sequence, select all of the clips, right-click, and remove the effects. This will assure that no timecode numbers appear in my final video. You may have noticed that one of the cameras was totally out of focus, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it. For that, I'll go back to the original sequence and look for that camera. In this case, it was camera 5. So all I have to do is select it and delete it. I can clearly see that one of my edits was using that camera. All I have to do now is place the place head on top of that clip and of course it's going to show me totally black in the program panel. But now all I have to do is click on another camera and the change is automatic. 
So as you can see, with Premiere Pro CS6, I can replace cameras after the fact if I want to, I can use the rolling edit tool to further edit this timeline, and of course, like I just did, I can delete the autofocus camera, even after I have done the editing. I can also perform color correction. For that, I go back to the multi-clip timeline and add color correcting effects to my clips. And there you go, multi-camera editing using Premiere Pro CS6.